My video for December the 16th, 2019 is video number 3306. The title is Stuck Between Illusion and Reality. Yesterday, my friend, magician Steve Hart, sent me an article entitled, Vatican Secret Manuscript Reveals That Humans Have Supernatural Powers. It begins, quote, Back in 1944, Max Planck, the father of quantum physics, demonstrated that the entire universe was only energy and that everything was just an illusion, end quote. He brought up the Anastasia books I've talked about and asked how she accomplished what seemed like supernatural powers. I replied, if I knew how, I would. It takes more than research. That only gives someone else's account. I would like personal experience. He asked, why not start by contacting the people who you know who do believe in the stories and ask them if they can confirm the truth about her? I said, as I have said many times, if God wanted to get my attention, the numbness in my feet would disappear. I don't know anyone personally who can do that. He concluded, okay, now you are stuck between illusion and reality. That will not change until you decide what you want. I have to ask, do we all have latent powers that seem supernatural? To Steve, Max, and many others, the enti this entire world is an illusion. Reality is in some other dimension and perhaps another planet than the one we call Earth. Yeah, and it's interesting. Steve sent me that article and I read it and I'm actually going to click on the, the link so I won't even see myself recording because I now have the article in front of me. I tried to pull it up on the other computer. Bear in mind, I have three computers. One has the timer, one is the video that, in the middle, the one that I'm recording on, and the other one is when I have something that I want to refer to. And I went to pull up the thing, and I have the exact title that Steve sent me that works on this computer, and they're both on Opera, the, the browser Opera, which is my preferred browser. And I tried to pull it up on the other computer, and it says zero results found. And I tried several times, and I cannot pull up that article on or that that piece on their website i can get knowledge time website well, knowledgetime.net website but that article is gone i mean it's gone it they it's not even find uh, findable on their own web page so apparently it was taken down why i don't know but anyway i'm going to i'm going to read some of the some of the article itself, since it's uh, taken down, uh, I already read the uh, put the first sentence in the blurb. It could, that paragraph continues. Moreover, Greg Braden, who has studied the Matrix for more than 20 years, reached the conclusion that we live in a vibrational universe, and everything is connected by these vibrations. Of course, we cannot see this Matrix, for it is made entirely of energies that vibrate at different levels. Love has the highest and purest vibration of all, so much so that it can heal any illness. A new study revealed that our DNA changes depending on the vibrations or vibration we generate. Emotions such as hate, greediness, and other negative feelings damage our DNA, resulting in illness. Apparently, the church has always been aware of this and has kept it hidden for centuries. It was not until 1946 when a peasant discovered uh, texts of scrolls in the caves of Qumran. Among those scrolls was the book of Isaiah, which teaches us prayers to change our own reality. Since humanity is asleep and at the mercy of evil forces, this book is extremely important. It helps to fight back these negative spiritual forces that manipulate us. There is even a prayer in the book that allows us to wake up and get rid of the chains that constrain us to this reality manipulated by the church and governments. 
Have a look at the following video for more information and please don't forget to share your opinion with us. <laughs> and let me minimize this now and get back to where I can be looking at my, my own face on the, uh, looking back at me. Uh, yeah, so now you have the whole article uh, that I was going to post and, and put that as a, as a link that you could check on. But again, I cannot pull up that article. How Steve managed to get it is beyond me, but even the web page, as I said, that the article is supposed to be existing on, it says zero results found, and I have it typed exactly. I mean, I checked and double checked to make sure I didn't mistype a letter or something, and it, it seems perfect to me. Anyway, this whole idea of illusion and reality to me is another one of the smoke screens that have been put up there to keep us from making the changes or having the changes made on this planet that need to be made. God has to take responsibility or the creator has to take responsibility for creation. Now, can that happen by empowering human beings that have goodwill? Yes, it can. But some of the things that I've looked at in the discussion groups and stuff like that suggest that it doesn't matter what we do. When we go to the other side, all of that is erased and, and, and there's no, there are no rewards and no consequences for our actions on this 3D illusory or illusionary world. There's no, no consequences whatsoever. We're not going to be rewarded for good behavior. We're not going to be punished for bad behavior. So who the hell cares? I mean, I do. I don't want to be trapped in a world that doesn't have any purpose. What is the purpose if it's just some dr dramatic play written by some demonic god that doesn't give a damn, has no ca capacity to love because it has no capacity to tell the truth? And truth doesn't matter. Truth doesn't even exist if everything's an illusion. This whole thing has gotten me really, really riled up because I want to see my life count for something. I have always, since I was a little boy, felt that I was here for a purpose. And as I've said so many times, my parents told me when I turned 18 that they had given me to God before I was conceived, before they got married, they promised their firstborn child to God. That was me. And I was born nine months and four days after they were, uh, after they were married. And I've always, always had a predisposition towards spiritual things since I was a boy. I mean, I was reading the Bible. By the time I was 10 years old, I was reading the Bible through. 10, 11, 12 years old. I mean, I was reading it through, all the way through, from at least from 1962, but I really think I started prior to 1962, reading the Bible through every year. That was just the way it was. And I didn't see the contradictions. So yes, I see them now, but I didn't see them then because I was told it was the inspired word of God. Well, a lot of this stuff that, Max Planck and, and, and others talk about, Greg Braden and others, they are, they are again, to me, feeding us bullshit. And, and many people want the bullshit. I don't. I want, to, I want to see reality here now in this planet. And I don't care if everything is made of atoms and atoms are mostly empty space. That is irrelevant to me. It feels real. It feels solid, even though they say you can walk right through walls and stuff like that when you understand the dynamics. And that was on Star Trek, of course. How do we do that? Anastasia seemed to have those abilities. Most humans do not. I'd like to be empowered and I'd like to see all people of goodwill empowered. And I'd like to see the dark forces repent not just taken out, but actually reach a place of repentance. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.